Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and very nice to be here. Um, really looking forward to today's shave. Uh, some new things that I haven't tried before. Um, as you've seen from the title of the video, uh, this is a new Wilkinson Sword DE Safety Razor that they have just released. Um, uh, I was very kindly sent this. Well, I paid for some of the postage and I put some money towards it as well. Uh, so thank you very much to Jens Wagner. Um, he purchased this in Germany for me and sent it across uh, and he also included uh, the soap I'm going to be using today, uh, which was very kind of him. So thank you very much Jens. I hope I'm saying your name properly and it's not Jens, 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 Wagner, Wagner, I don't know. Um, yeah, so he sent me the razor, so let me show you it. Here it is here. This is the new Wilkinson Sword uh, Safety Razor, DE. Uh, and there is the logo on the cap there, which you can see. Yeah, this is the other Wilkinson Sword razor that, that they have. This is the, the Wilkinson Sword Classic, but this is a, a new one. I don't know if, if it's going to be available worldwide. I know it's just out in Germany a few months ago, well, a couple of months back. But there it's there, very nice. Uh, nice handle, um, yes, nice knurling. You twist the bottom and the doors open like that. Uh, and there it is inside, I'll just show you that. Yeah, very nice, nice weight to this. It's, uh, I'll put it on the scales and show you. Eight eight grams, uh, and it comes in, the handle is about four inches long. So I'll just show you it next to a, a Merker 34. So there it is there next to that. So quite a bit longer, uh, 88 grams. And some people say the head on this is exactly the same as a Gillette Slim Twist. So here we go, there's a Gillette Slim Twist here. So there's the comparison of the heads. Yeah, very, very similar. Uh, there's the tops there. Actually, it looks pretty much spot on. Uh, there's the, the top caps. I'll just show you underneath. And we'll just open these up and I'll let you see inside them. And they are kind of identical, almost identical. Yeah, look the way the, the, the bar there kind of angles down. Yeah, it's pretty much spot on. A little bit different in the middle there, but yeah, it, it looks it looks almost identical. So that's the razor I'm going to be using, is the Wilkinson Sword. Uh, yeah, it's a nice razor. Very nice. So we'll see how that shaves. Uh, the soap I'm going to be using uh, again, this was sent to me by Jens, is uh, Spike uh, Men Active. This is uh, slightly different from the normal Spike soap. He also sent me a bar, a, a, a bath, some bath soap. Spike is usually in th these kind of colours, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen, uh, or it's in a, a blue kind of container. But this is a, this is a different um, brand. Well, not brand. It's still Spike, but it's a different. It's a different soap. It's uh, active. Uh, it comes in this nice plastic tub. Uh, it still has the lavender scent. It's quite a firm soap. Uh, I mean, I can push my finger into it, but it's yeah, it's nice. It's uh, very nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Okay, the brush. Oh, oh let me show you the blade. I'm trying to keep this all kind of German, so um, just to keep the theme going. Uh, the blade I'm going to put in the, the razor is a, a Timor blade. Uh, I'll just show you the blade here, just take it out of the wrapper. There we go. Timor. Uh, and these are made in Solingen in Germany. So I'll just twist the bottom of that. Uh, and pop the blade in there. There we go. And then I'll close it up. Yeah, it feels nice. It's a nice, uh, it doesn't feel cheap. It's not an expensive razor by any means, but uh, it doesn't feel cheap. 
Uh, it's a nice, it, it has a nice tight twist at the, at the end just to keep everything closed. Uh, and I'll show you the, there's the packaging for the Timor blades there. Um, okay, let's show you the brush. The brush I'm going to be using is a, well this is a limited edition gentleman's groom room brush here in Dundee. This is the Shelan, Shelan, <laughs> I will say this wrong, Shelan. Uh, Shellen is Scots Gaelic for honeybee and as you can see th this is made by Shavemac in Germany a little badger brush yeah there's only 50 of these in the world I have number 24 so that's been soaking in the Parasso super soaker so I'll just put that in the water give it a little shake and then we'll start to lather this spike soap how are you all doing? That's good. I'm glad. Okay, let's uh, okay, let's just wet the brush, give it a little flick, and we'll just start loading the soap upside down. Yeah, right away it's uh, it's gathering the soap. Yeah, it has a nice. It's a nice. Um, the spike is a, a, a an alpine plant. Um, has very good skin properties to it. Very good for the skin, should I say. Uh, this is an all vegan soap. It doesn't have the recipe, uh, the recipe. <laughs> it doesn't have the ingredients on the tub. There was a little sticky label that was um, sealing the, uh, the, the the lid onto the soap, which I took off. Uh, the ingredients might have been on that, but I've uh, thrown it away. So you can look online. I'll put links to everything as usual. But this nice, lathering up, lovely. Yeah. I have um, some of the spike cream in the blue tub, but um, I don't have this spike men active. Yeah, there we go. I think that's enough on that brush. Let's just uh, wet the face and take what's in this tub. And we'll just apply it as a kind of like a pre-shave. Yeah, there's a lavender scent here, but there's something else. Very nice. Kind of like a, a soapy scent, but a nice soapy scent. Look at that. That looks good to go now, <laughs> without even applying any from the brush. Okay, I'm just going to give this brush a little wipe because there's uh, it's good slickness on this. I can feel it on this brush. Okay. Yeah, it has a lavender scent, but there's also a, a clean soapy scent underneath, which is very nice. And as you know, I like my lathers thick and creamy. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on that brush. Excellent. This is a great little brush. Yeah, the, uh, the Kevy Shaves first pass <laughs> with the three inches of lather. <laughs> that feels great, very nice, feels um, luxurious. That looks great, look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's get a little bit cleaned up here. All the little rituals, get it off the ears. Make sure everything's nice and tidy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying that. Get rid of that wart. And uh, we'll put some heat in this blade. And we'll see how this razor performs. 
Okay, let's go with the uh, Wilkinson Sword DE Safety Razor. Yeah, it feels. Um, the first couple of strokes there, it feels very similar to the Gillette Slim Twist. Quite mild. But comfortable. Some people prefer a longer handle. I, I, I don't mind either way. Some people prefer shorter handles. Uh, this is a nice handle. It means I could just rest it on my pinky like that. And uh, not apply any pressure. Yeah, I don't know, as I said, I don't know if, the, if they're going to roll this razor out worldwide or if it's, uh, if they're just trialling it in Germany to start. Well, it feels very good. So this would be a great um, beginner's razor. It's quite well built and uh, it feels smooth. The Timor blades are uh, they're quite sharp, quite a sharp blade so um, yeah it's doing the job well. Thank you for all the comments uh, from the last video. Uh, some people were <laughs> some people were mentioning about the the shaving council um, <laughs> getting permission getting permission to shave uh, against the grain and across the grain on the first pass and stuff like that. Yeah, just uh, some good comments. I was laughing at some of them. It's a nice soap. Yeah, nice head on that razor for uh, getting under the nose. Nice and uh, slim. Okay, first pass done. Let's see how the slickness is. Very good, very, very good. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Nicely rinsed off. There's nice uh, residual slickness there from that soap. Okay, let's uh, go back to this brush and just paint this on. Yeah, I don't think this is as strong a lavender scent as the the normal um, spike soap and cream. There's something underneath that's uh, it's like a powdery, almost like a powdery scent, which is nice. This gives it a nice uh, balance. Yeah, this is a vegan soap, I think I said that, didn't I? If uh, that concerns you. Great lather, really good, look at that. Yeah, I'm impressed. Okay, let's go across the green. Pass number two, remember, across the green.
Yeah, it does. It feels um, it's not super mild, but. And uh, like the old vintage Gillettes, there's quite a bit of uh, overhang there, if you can see, it's sticking out the edges, so just be careful of that. Nice feedback. Yeah. Yeah, there's nice um nice slickness and glide on that soap. You're going against the grain. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. How do you like the haircut? Yeah, it's a new wig. I'm getting a new wig made. <laughs> This uh, Timor blade is nice and sharp. You can feel it, but it's, uh, it feels smooth. Yeah, a little weeper there. That's usually the uh, secret to a mild razor, to put a nice sharp blade in it. Okay, second pass done. Very nice. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, nicely rinsed. <laughs> like Laurel and Hardy there. Um, Stan Laurel, excellent. One of my uh, comedy heroes. So I'm just uh, taking the soap from this tub that's left in here, the ladder. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy, superb. Kevy, this is a shaving video. I know, but I was watching something on YouTube yesterday um, about the, oh, I can't remember what the, the, the movie was called, it was from 1932, Laurel and Hardy, and it's the one where they take the piano, they take the piano up the steps and they keep, <laughs> it keeps coming back down the steps, um, and there was a guy on YouTube that went back to the neighbourhood and the steps are still there. And he was just kind of showing you it. It's a bit different now, obviously. A lot more houses and stuff being built. I think it's someplace in Hollywood. They've done it or California, someplace like that. Music. I think I think the film's called Music Box. Music Box. Just going back to the brush now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it won a, it won an Oscar in in that year, 1932. My goodness, that's a long time ago. Okay, back to shave talk. What are you waiting on in the mail? Or what are you thinking about ordering? Like I said before, uh, the products out there just now, if you're a wet shaver, just unbelievable. Really, really good. This is a great lather. It's really, really held up well. Very nice. Yeah, some excellent things. Soaps, and brushes, and razors. And yeah, just so good. Okay, third pass against the growth of the hair. And you can really hear that feedback. 
or I hope you can. Do you know what I hope? I hope that with Wilkinson, Wilkinson Sword uh, releasing this new DE safety razor, I hope Gillette take note and uh, maybe they'll re-release something or make something new. They probably won't. Yeah, a couple of little dots there but I've overdone it. Going against the growth. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if uh, if Gillette done like a rerun of uh, Fat Boys and Slims. Just a limited run, just I don't know, like a, a runoff to make it worth a while. 10,000 or something like that. I bet you they'd sell it super quick. How many people have you converted into wet shaving, like this way? People at work and stuff like that, have you said, try it and let them borrow a, a cheap razor and, or maybe something like this, uh, just to, to let them try it and a soap and a cream and I bet you they've enjoyed it. Okay, three passes done. Let's have a little feel about a little rinse. Nice slickness on that soap. Let's see if there's any pickups needing done. Okay, a little bit there. Not much else. A little bit there. Yeah, just kind of down this side. And this. I'll do. It. So, well done Wilkinson Sword for releasing a new DE safety razor. Wake up Gillette. Good. A little bit there. And a tiny bit there. Okay. Feels great. Okay, I'm going to take this soap out. The brush. Um, yeah, it's nice. There's not much left, but there's enough. A little face wash, leave it on, clean my gear out, come back for the post shave. So I'll see you then.
nice shave, feels good, skin feels nice. Okay, let's go into the post shave. No witch hazel or no alum today, I'm just going straight for a, a German aftershave that Steve Keir, Suffolk shaver, uh, he sent me this a couple of years ago for my birthday. Uh, there's not much left, but um, this is a tough, tough. Uh, this is a German aftershave and this is herb. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a classic aftershave scent. Old school, yeah, it smells great. Good splash of that. Oh, a little bit of a tingle. Oh, yeah, just a nice um, classic old school aftershave scent in the kind of brute and old spice genre. Very nice if you like that sort of thing, which I do, so that's why I'm using it. Uh, I don't have any German aftershave balm. Uh, the closest thing I could get to Germany was Spain. <laughs> See what I've done there. Okay, uh, this is a Mirasol Emulsion. This is from Barcelona in Spain, so I'll use some of that. Very good stuff this is. This has a a little bit of menthol in it. Oh, it's great. That feels excellent. That's a nice shave. I'm always um, wary when I'm using new new products, especially a razor and a soap. It's like right, I don't know how this is going to perform, but um, I'm happy with that. It feels it feels very good. Nice and close. Yeah, no issues. Feels great. Yeah, you maybe can't see for the sun. Yeah, it's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. That big yellow thing. What's that big yellow thing in the sky? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go over what we've used again today in this fantastic shave that I've uh, really enjoyed. New products, always a bit risky because you never know how they're going to perform, but. Um, these have been great. Okay, the soap for today. Spike Active. Sp Spike Men Active. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's a, you could probably read that. It's all in German, if you can read German. Um, yeah, there's the soap there. As you've seen, easy to lather. Very good lather. Uh, whipped up no time. Nice scent. It has a, a lavender, but a kind of soapy underlying scent, which is really nice. I like it. It's nice and fresh. Um, yeah, vegan soap, very good. Uh, the brush we used to create the lather was the little gentleman's groom room shellen, uh, made by Shavemac in Germany, badger brush. Nice knot on that, yeah, very soft. I love it, it's a great brush. The eraser was the new Wilkinson Sword, I'm just giving it a little wipe, Wilkinson Sword DE Safety Razor. Uh, there it is there. Nice razor, twist it open, inside it a brand new Timor blade. Yeah, very good. Very impressed with this actually. Feels, um, it doesn't feel really expensive, but it feels it feels probably better than it is cost. Than it costs. Um, yeah, a nice head on it. Very similar, well, probably exactly the same as the Gillette Slim Twist. So if you have one of those, you'll know what this shave's like. But this has a longer handle. Um, and it has a nice, it has nice knurling on it. Yeah, three little bits at the bottom there, as you can see, look very nice. Yeah, good razor, good, good razor. I hope they roll this out worldwide for everyone to try. I really do. Um, I think they'll sell. Yeah, people want, want to try them if they're not too expensive. Yeah, very good. Uh, that was the razor, razor blade brush soap. Um, we then had a little face wash, rinsed off with cold water. The aftershave for the post shave was. Uh, you can just see that tough, tough herb. Um, and there's the back of that. Yeah, you can see it's made in uh, Germany, down here somewhere. Yeah, good aftershave, classic scent, very nice. Uh, I finished it off in Spain with Mersol Emulsion. Um, so that's the shave for today. Yeah, very pleased, skin feels great now. Once that Mersol emulsion uh, 
soaks in. It really makes your skin feel great. I'm really happy. Thank you very much, Jens Wagner, for sending me some of this stuff. Uh, I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time, uh, and thank you very much. And thank you to you all for, for watching this video of me shaving off this little pieces of hair that grow on my face. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm nearly at 6,000 subscribers. Uh, well, kind of five something. Uh, <sighs> I don't know how that's happened, but um, I really appreciate everyone that's subscribed and everyone that takes the time to leave a comment. I always try and answer them if I can, or I always read them. Uh, I really appreciate your time for doing that. So yeah, that's today's shave. I'm happy, I hope you're happy, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video hasn't went on too long. If it has, who cares? Life's too short to worry about things like that, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, until the next shave, I don't know when that'll be. Um, might be this week, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I'll let you know with a video. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go now. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of this week and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.